Welcome to Sunday Sensei Says number 28. My name is Jam Johnson and today is the second part of my series on how to stay healthy through winter, how to maintain your diet and your exercise regardless of the weather. So, today I'm going to talk to you as a personal trainer and I'm going to talk a little bit about how we exercise throughout the colder seasons, okay? Now, I know it's hard. I'm not great with the cold, yeah? I'm a creature of summer and most PTs come alive at summer and, you know, winter's a tough time. And I'm an outdoor PT and I train a lot of clients in parks and stuff and you know we love training in the great outdoors when the weather's nice. When the weather's bad, lots of challenges come up, okay, and I understand. And it's tough to exercise when it's really cold out and it's warm in bed and you know the last thing you want to do is get out into the cold. Now, here's where as a society we need to toughen up a bit. We need to say to ourselves, man, I know it's cold but I set these goals and I need to be solutions minded, okay? Don't be negative and problem minded. Think in terms of solutions. So, we know we have to exercise. We know it's an important part of health. We know that training is gonna make us feel better. We understand all the benefits of exercise increasing metabolism, which helps with weight loss. Exercising, exercising can help your mood and it you know, de decreases the chance of osteoporosis and depression and a million other incredible uh, benefits to exercise. Probably the, one of the most important of which is that it makes you feel good, is that it's fun, and you will have fun. Don't forget, even when it's cold, when you get out and you go for a run, for example, you'll enjoy it once you're out there. It's just getting started, right? It's just tying up your shoelaces. So we've spoken about this in the past. What we need to have is an athlete mindset. How do the champions do it? How do the footy players do it? Yeah, footy players are amazing. They'll go and run 100 Ks and do all this amazing amounts of exercise uh, as part of their game in the freezing cold. And it's because they think of it as an, a champion should. They see themselves as professional athletes and they train accordingly. And that's a really strong mindset to have. How does, he, how does the uh, footy player approach his training when it's freezing cold and it's early in the morning? He gets up and he does it. He gets up and he does it. And that's the same sort of mentality that we should have. I know it's tough. I've been there too. But we've got to stay strong. Here's the next bit. When you do that, when you see the challenge of the weather and you overcome it with your discipline, it builds character. Discipline is the defining characteristic. If you can do that for exercise, it will carry over to everything else. If you can overcome the obstacle of the bad weather so that you, so you go for a run regardless, that is gonna carry over to all sorts of other things, yeah? It's gonna make you more disciplined, more strong, more sure of yourself in a million other parts of your life, in your job, in your nutrition, yeah? Suddenly it's like, ah oh, man, if I can force myself to exercise, then I can force myself not to eat this chocolate. Ah, clever. Now, here are some good tips, because I know it's hard. It's starting to rain right now, and this is what we all need, yeah? It is a very good idea, approaching the rainy season, to go and get yourself some warm clothes, because what you're gonna find is that the act of buying good exercise gear that you can wear outdoors when it's cold and wet, it makes you more likely to exercise, yeah? You've taken an actionable step you're already conquering the obstacle. So when you buy really good clothes, like this beautiful jacket, you know, this is great. There you go. Keeps you, keeps you warm, keeps you able to exercise regardless of the weather. And it makes you emotionally invested in your training. It's a good tip. Skins are great, you wear skins underneath your pants and suddenly your legs are warm all the time. These are really good tactics to approach. Okay, here's the next tip. Find yourself an indoor, way to train. I understand that sometimes it's just impossible to, run, to train outdoors. If you like running and you don't want to do it when, it when it rains, that's cool. Substitute it with for something else. Try swimming indoors. Go on. Yeah. Try a martial art. The, uh, the best cardio exercise I've ever experienced indoors is probably training karate. It's the most intense, funnest, coolest way to get a great cardio workout indoors out of the rain. Amazing. Here's the other thing. If you just can't make it happen, and that's cool, then ask someone to help, yeah? Don't do it alone, it's so hard alone. Do it with friends, join a gym, find yourself a personal trainer. I actually do house calls now, which is really cool. So over the colder seasons, I go to people's places and I train them in their houses. Really good approach for someone who maybe doesn't want to train out in public, maybe doesn't want the world to see him, maybe wants to get, get out of the rain. So training indoors, it's a good idea, training with friends, you know, get involved in an indoor facility like the warehouse where you can do some sweet indoor sessions and you can train in a facility with lots of people and that's really fun. That's what's going to keep you training throughout winter. Don't 
be one of those people who is really fit and healthy for a couple of months of the year. Here's an important thing to consider. We build our summer bodies in winter. We should be training through the colder seasons so that we look good in summer. We should be preparing our bodies and our souls and our minds when it's tough so that when the nice seasons come around and it's easy, we're on easy street. So, grind now, it will reward you later. Yeah, gotta grind early to get the rewards later. And to summarize, we're talking about investing in warm clothes, signing up to a gym or training with a PT, uh, trying some indoor exercise like swimming indoors, for example, for cardio or martial arts. All good ways that you can continue your training. Don't give up on it. If it was easy, everyone would do it, but you're, you're different. Everyone gives up over winter, but we're not like everyone. Yeah? Gonna have a champion mindset. Good, done, next. If you've enjoyed this episode of Sunday Sensei Says, please check out my website, www.theurbanjunglegym.com or check us out on Facebook under Melbourne Fit Club.